We're here at Wicket 2012 in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Mohammed Al Ghanim, who is Director General of the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority of the UAE. Mr. Al Ghanim, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you. The UAE has been hosting a number of key telecommunications events this year. Perhaps we could begin by talking a little bit about the impact of telecommunications in the region. Uh, first of all, as you know, uh, telecommunication for the region, not only for the UAE, but for the region, is, is critical and important. It is the backbone for all, all the uh, different sectors of the economies. And it is, it is the backbone that, that governments, private sector, and even people, uh, you know, use. Now, in terms of, you know, conferences, we, we've been hosting, the, this is the third conference we've been hosting now. And we believe in ITU, we believe in a multi-stakeholder approach, we believe in, you know, uh, getting together and bringing the entire world to discuss, you know, challenges that we have uh, and also future perspective for telecommunication. That's why we, you know, we, we've seen that this is an opportunity that we can bring together uh, member states to discuss critical issues that will impact the future of our, of our people, in the, you know, down the road. Now, you're chairman of this particular conference, yes. and it's a very important conference. It's attracting a lot of attention. I'd love to get a little bit of an insight of what Wicked is like from a chairman's perspective. Well, definitely, uh, from a chairman's perspective, for a conference which is as, as big as this, you have 2,000 plus you know, participants. You have issues which is really contentious, which came um, you know, to the conference. And um, for me as a chairman, of course, it's not an easy job, but for me as a chairman, you know, I try as much and ha as hard as I can to bring people together. Now, one of the things that, that, uh, that is missing in any negotiation is, you know, I, I, uh, you know uh, uh, person or administration X present a proposal, a pr uh, you know, administration Y present their, their opposite proposal, and they don't talk. My job is to let everybody start talking, engaging, and making sure that they reach to a consensus, and that's what's important. And my, the philosophy is, you know, you need to open up, reach out to the other person, and the vice versa, and get to bring them together in one table, uh, discuss things, try to resolve it. From my side as a chair, I always sometimes, or most of the time, I bring solutions, and this solution is middle of the way, and I try to bring both both, you know, both sides closer to what I what I say. Uh, it is working so far. It's the, today is the third day. The mo the conference still positive, positive that it will reach to you know satisfactory uh, resolution. I'm hopeful that the conference is going to reach to uh, all its objectives. Of course, there are difficult issues that we need to uh, tackle, but I'm sure with the help with everybody, I'm sure we'll reach to you know a satisfactory resolution. How much is actually decided in the working groups themselves or, and, and how much actually happens in informal discussions in the corridors perhaps? There are a lot of informal discussions. Um, things that uh, member states cannot talk about it, you know, uh, you know uh, when they take the podium. A lot has been discussed uh, informally, then they get or formally and they compromise. But a lot of work has been done informally, and this is what we are trying to do, you know, you know uh, away from the uh, official meetings and corridors or closed meetings, bringing together, you know, parties who is involved in a specific issue. I give you, for example, yesterday, we've discussed um, issues that I thought as a chair, you know, will pass through from plenary. And that's issues related to putting provision in the ITRs um, uh, that will deal with uh, protecting the environment and uh, you know promoting more energy efficiency using ICT as well as you know uh, connecting uh, people with disability that part has has ha we did not reach to uh, to a conclusion in the plenary but what's positive is you know the fact that all administration realize that you know these issues are important and we need and they need to discuss it so now they are in an ad hoc group and this ad hoc group is dealing with these three issues and 
I'm, I've heard positive news that they will come up with a text, compromise text that will be satisfactory for the conference. Is that the nature of this kind of conference, that, uh, that issues like this are raised and sometimes they, 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 you know, they can take you by surprise? Uh, or, 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 is it, uh, or is it something particular to this one, do you think? Well, uh, it is particular to this conference in particular. And I, I'll tell you, I was expecting, for example, these things to pass you know, in the plenary, it didn't. I expected others to, to, uh, to pass an ad hoc group. In matter of fact, it was stopped in plenary. So, you know, uh, you know um, I prepare, I've read all the contributions very well. I, 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 I took note of a lot of details. And as a chair, sometimes I get surprises. But, you know, until now, I'm still getting good surprises. And that's, that's positive. Um, my job is to push, my job is to make sure that consensus is there, my job is to also make sure that everybody is here equally. Uh, also my job is to make sure that the conference is moving in the right direction where I don't give, I don't allow uh, certain entities to, you know, to talk beyond their uh, limits, limited time that's given because they will waste the entire conference time. You know, a lot of serious people is coming here to find solutions and they deserve to take the time, the proper time to do it. And we have limited time and we need to finish. Uh, we have 10 articles, uh, which might someone might say, you know, you have only 10 articles, you know, the, the treaty is less than 20 pages. True, but there are major, major issues. Last treaty was uh, uh, in, eight, in 88 in Melbourne. 24, 24 years later, technology and the evolution of uh, ICT is, is massively changed. Now, and, and this treaty is supposed to be, you know, at least uh, survive for the next decade or two. So you can think about, you can see and you can imagine the size of um, uh, focus from member states to make sure that the text that they will conclude at the end of the conference is going to last for at least one to two decades. So where do you think we're heading? What do you think will be the key outcomes to this conference? See, there are a lot of uh, subjects, uh, you know, um, put to, on the table of this conference. Cyber security or network security, fraud, spam, uh, roaming transparency, roaming pricing, um, environment protection, um, uh, connecting dis disabled people, and we have proposal related to internet and we have proposal related to ICT. A lot of it is, uh, a lot of these issues critical and, 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 and vital for, for a lot of adm administrations. We are hopeful that everybody equally go out of this conference happy and their, their, um, uh, their issues has been uh, resolved and we have a strong treaty, you know, for the next one to two decades uh, to come, which has the satisfaction by all member states. That's my aim. It's not easy, I know it's difficult, but I'll try my best and I will strive to make sure that people compromise. This is very, very important. This is the spirit of the ITU and this is the way we, we deal with. We here in the UAE have something which is, which, is, um, which is important. And, you know, two days ago we've been celebrating the union, the 41st birthday of, of UAE. And the, the theme and the logo of, uh, of um, uh, of, of the celebration is the spirit of the union. So uh, we are using, and I, I've said it in the, uh, the beginning of the conference, I'm going to use that, the spirit of the union, you know, to be able to bring everybody on the spirit of union of the old nations around the world. So we'll try and give it a shot. I'm hopeful and I'm seeing a lot of cooperation from all member states around, around, uh, around the table here, and I'm sure it's going to succeed. So do I. Mr. Al thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you.